Hello you metal stud framers, my name is Chris, welcome to Construction Cronies. Today I'm going to be showing you something that I guarantee you've never seen before. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments, but wait till you see this guys. Alright boys, so we're going to be using the Tzatziki framing tool on these walls. They're just little runs, but we'll still be able to demonstrate how exactly they work. So yeah, this end just taps into the front stud. The magnets clip into the side. Right, you just bring it over to the line, make sure it doesn't... See how it's light gauge, you can push it in and out. Be careful not to do that. Just bring it to where, you know, just touches and uh, it's squared to the line. And then boom, simple as that. This stud is locked into place. You can screw it in on both sides and it's based on 16 inch center. So as simple as they is. Watch we go along. We do the bottoms. It's on 16 inch center and it's clamped basically, right? So it's gorgeous. Use it too to clamp it square, even if it's not on the. What's neat because the both sides of the wall are done as you go, right? Instead of doing one side, come back and doing the other. All right, we're gonna do some more framing with the tool. Um, so yeah. On a wall like this, we have th there's three doors. So I just went ahead and I uh, secured the first 16, right? You laser it in so it's plumb, square it back so it's all square, and then you can use the tool from then on, okay? Um, so yeah, then of course, then there's a break. So I, I again, I secured the first uh, 16, the first stud on the next set. The door studs are all set. We don't use it for that. Um, but then yeah the, again with the first stud and then whatever will be done It's just it's quicker to use the tool because it's clamped both sides. You can then you know screw it in um, front and back Instead of you know screwing it in squaring across clamping blah blah blah, right? So uh, We'll demonstrate and then also at the same time you'll figure it out so then you can We're all gonna also sh we're also gonna show big a how to do it here And then you can use it to go to court this is the end. You want to hit the the, the stud that's already square because you want the magnets to secure these in place, right? So a light gauge stud, right? This thing just clips onto the track here and just boom, just touches touch the stud, right? Clamps in and it's perfect on the center here. Right, and now the front and back are good to go, right? You can screw both in. Light gauge is a little funny how the flange, you know, but it's square and it's front and back screwed in and, and on center and I, and I didn't have to draw my, my centers for it. So much easier, eh, than clamping and squaring. And well, there's 
there's a pin bolt in the way there. That's okay. It's pretty close. Oh, that was my fault. Shit. Flange doesn't bend, right? So it's beautiful, right? Leg gauge is a pain in the ass, period. So you can imagine you can go you can go pretty quick on a big run. You can go pretty quick with these, especially with heavy gauge. And the guy on each side. And yeah, the guy at the top, the guy at the bottom, and you're done. Anywho, got a couple more here. There's not too much on the the top you can use this with right because of the damn uh, brakes, but speed speeds the bottom and this wall. My normal walls you can do, use it on top and bottom, but It's perfect centers. And they're square. You know, we just gotta get them in the top of them. So. Cool. This is my thoughts on the Tzizi framing tool. Uh, I'm not biased because I helped design it and um, I uh, had interest in the in the company or anything like that. Um, this is what uh, I've discovered after using it in the field, and especially on this really unique project with the concrete being sloped and everything like that. Uh, it's not a very good tool for light gauge, right? It's a little sloppy for light gauge steel. Um, in testing, we we're always using uh, heavy gauge and uh, the light gauge is just a little flimsy so it's easy to uh, come off your centers when you push too hard onto the center of the stud so it, it but it's still great it's still faster if you lay out your studs to make sure you're on center and use it to square and and clamp as you go right um and it's amazing for that being able to screw both sides of the stud in is amazing right um light gauge is really really flimsy right so the the steel will bend in sometimes and and, and it's just yeah you know it's light gauge is light gauge right so um the other thing i found too is when you're framing on on slopes you will also lose your uh centers with it because um when you're obviously right you're extending the length 
from the between the centers when you're when you're going down on a slope right so that also too was an issue so when you're when you basically have to be on nice level ground um and with heavy gauge is ideal prime um uh situation for this tool um, I'm going to leave a link for the tool, the website, down in, in the video description. Uh, you guys can check it out. It's um, it's it's a really it's I think it's still overpriced. It should probably be half of what it's what it is right now for pricing wise, um, and it would be of good value, right? It uh, eliminates um, a couple tools. It really does speed it up. And, um, it, and it, yeah, it's, it's a really neat tool, but it, uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's, it's in its early stages, it's in the infancy stages. So, uh, if it ever does take off, then the, obviously the prices will come down, but you guys check it out for yourself. Um, I'll leave the link down in the video description. Okay. Bye for now guys.